Yo, I'm Hearties, and welcome back to another video. I haven't recorded in a while, so this is really odd. Um, yeah, I've been ill, and it wasn't fun. I'm, I'm still kind of ill, just, I don't know, the recovery phase on this illness is a long time. It's like, I've been ill over a week now, and it's just like, the cough just keeps coming back. It is still not that, though, as far as I know. Every test I've done has come back negative, so it's not that. Anyway, that's wow. Okay. Right, so, now that we've harvested the sugar cane, I'm gonna need to turn this into paper and then sell it to our wonderful... Mm, cartographer. I'm gonna need to sell this... There. I'm gonna need to turn this into paper and then we can sell this to our wonderful cartographer who is down in this wonderful little pit here. Hello, um... Have I walked in at a bad time? Um, you're the cartographer, and ooh, you're giving us a discount. How nice. Two emeralds. We're also going to take all of the glass panes because I have a lot of these, and you really. Oh, you've just upgraded. What have you given us? Oh, ooh, I didn't know you could get banner patterns from these guys. Oh, that's interesting. I might be using those in the future then. Alright, let's turn all of these into and you're going to refuse the trade Uh, who else do we need? I need to find our wonderful toolsmith. Jesus Christ, you guys have a really annoying noise. Where's our toolsmith? You're... Thank you. Uh, we still need quartz from you. Uh... And you're the... you're not the guy. Where is our other toolsmith? He's not dead, is he? Like, he hasn't died at some point? Ah, you. Right, okay, so it's 20... I should probably explain what we're actually going to be doing. I, I want to make another creeper farm. And I have, I have a bit of just trauma from making creeper farms because oh wow we have a lot of emeralds in here okay i i have a lot of trauma from making creeper farms because it was so slow last time but that is exactly why i'm happy that we have this toolsmith guy because this pickaxe and the diamond one they're both really good that one has efficiency three and that one has efficiency two but that one is diamond. So, I'm going to do a quick test. Okay. So, the iron pickaxe is way faster than the diamond one because of the efficiency 3. But, the diamond pickaxe is worth... Or, like, it's, it's a similar price for longer lasting. So, I might go with the diamond, but I'm not sure. We should also take a look at Dave's Newspaper Incorporated, because I completely forgot about that. So, okay, I rotated it. Last episode, Captain Pineapple begins work on terraforming the new home and gets three new dogs. I forgot to mention the dogs. Oh, is that still rotated? Since when did stuff stay rotated when you put it back in the... It's that way, isn't it? I forgot to mention the dogs. Yes, we've got three new dogs, and this one is refusing to come over here. Come on, come with your brothers, I assume, or, or maybe sisters, I don't know. I need names for these guys. Um, Please leave, leave name suggestions, because I really need good ones. Don't, don't do something stupid, please, as a name. Good suggestions only, please. I don't want another soggy, soggy smelter incident. If we just cut down these trees that are here, then that should give us enough sticks for hopefully one or two more emeralds. So I think I'm going to get two of those iron pickaxes and then dig the rest out with the um, diamond one if I have time. Because I don't have too long to record this episode, which is annoying because... I was hoping to get a lot of progress done. So, if we turn those into sticks, and now I need... Where is our... We need our Fletchers. That, you're... No, you're, you're a cheap dude. Um, where, where are Fletchers? Oh, oh! 
I should not be holding an axe in here. Okay, right, you're going to give us some emeralds. There we go, nice and cheap. So now we need my wonderful toolsmith. You, no, wrong guy. Um, who here has an eye patch? Who looks like a pirate? Um, is it you actually? No, you're the. Um, how? How is it so hard to find? Is it you? Oh, it is. Okay, so we're going to get two of those pickaxes, and now this intro is getting really long. So, um, the place that I kind of plan on doing it is somewhere over here, kind of, just because then I can have easy access to it once we build over here, but also it means that we can, like, it means that while I am building over here, the creep farm should be active, so we should hopefully be getting a lot of mobs, like, spawning underground and dying and stuff. So, if I just come down... Actually, no, no, we won't do that. We'll just dig out the plan for it here. So, I will see you after this wonderful time-lapse. <laughs> I just cleared out all of the dirt here, and that took almost an entire diamond shovel, and a long time. So, uh, th this whole project is going to take a long time. I think I'm going to do what I did with the last creeper farm, which is where I'm going to go down in columns of three, just because, for some reason, that actually seems to go quite fast going down in columns of three. I'm not sure why. It wouldn't make any sense for it to be faster, but it felt way faster when I actually did it, and it's how I got the creep farm done. Like, it was just, I'm gonna go down in columns of three until I hit the, like, bedrock or whatever, and that's what I did, and it eventually got me all the way down, like, far enough for the entire thing. I'm also going to uh, change the shape of the hole, so I've just dug out a massive square, but that's actually not what the design's going to be. You might have noticed in the time lapse I was placing water down right in the center, which is around there somewhere, and it's not going to do it now, but basically the water shows me exactly where um, like the water will get to once it's all like cleared out. So, I'm basically going to take that location and I'm just going to make it in like a diamond shape, sort of, because that is the easiest way to do it, sort of. Basically, just I'm going to make diamond shape and that means that I can cut out all of the corners here, don't need to dig any of those out, and it should all hopefully work exactly the same, although I'm not sure. But yeah, back to the time. <laughs> Just found a mine shaft. Um, that is, that is not quite what I expected to find down here. This could cause problems. Th this could be really good, but it could also cause problems because, um, like, I'm gonna be dealing with mobs probably spawning down here whilst trying to like, dig this all out. Um, I think I have explored some of this because, um, like, I found it while I was my- oh uh, yeah, look, this couple stones here for me. So, I have explored, like, part of this, but I never went very deep into it. I just found, like, one or two chests that were here. So, did I find this chest? Yes, okay. So, I know that I found stuff here. This- this could actually help, though. Like, not, not lying here, 
this could help because when you think about it this is like this is going to be areas that I'm not going to have to mine. I'm not going to have to dig out anywhere that's like open space like this. Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, take that, and I'll take the glowberries, why not? Um, where do I put them though? Right, I can get rid of that. I'm pretty sure I have melon seeds though. I brought melon seeds along with me. What do glowberries actually do? Does anyone know that? Like, I don't actually know what glowberries do. They should be used to make glowing. Because, like, right now, the only way you can get glowing is by, um, is by, like, oh. Oh. Um. Oh! <laughs> okay. Wow. What is it with me making creep farms and, like, stumbling across really good stuff? Like, I did- this happened last time. Last time I was making a creep farm, I found a fossil. How? Huh. I wonder how big this is. Like, I, I just kind of hope that there aren't actually any, like, I don't know. I just really hope that there aren't loads of cave spider spawners, because I really hate cave spiders. I don't like dealing with them. And, like, if if I'm above a mineshaft, they're probably going to be spawning in a lot. So, this could also actually affect how um, efficient our farm is. Ow, 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 ow. I don't want to be stuck here in a, um, in a, ow. Right, okay, you, buddy, you're coming here. You didn't even hurt me because of the new armor. Right, okay. What's well, over here? This is a massive open area and actually not where we're mining. So, like, all of this open space is actually going to be a problem. Yeah, this is actually going to be a problem with our farm, though. Oh, this is going to be a huge problem with the farm, because all of this dark space here, like, every, everywhere here, where it's just all dark, mobs are going to be spawning here. They're not going to be spawning in the farm, they're going to be here. So, this could actually be a huge problem, and it is, yeah, when I say huge, this really is. Oh my god, it just goes on. It just it just goes like it just keeps going and going like where actually oh my god there's more down there where on earth does this end also why do mine shafts never have an access at like the surface really like a minecraft mine shaft is just like it, it just stops it just it just doesn't really have an exit so it's like what happened to all of the miners down there? They should add a new mob for that. Oh, they should add like a, a like miner mob or something. Like a skeleton miner or something. It's like, it's just a skeleton that attacks you with a pickaxe and it has like a weird helmet or something. I don't know. Loads of gold though. This is a good source of resources. And I'm stuck in a cobweb. Oh, there's another layer above us as well. Oh god. This, this is, this is huge. Th this place is huge. What, what, like, what, what do I do about this? Like, th th this is, this is, this is absolutely huge. How, how am I going to, like, I, I think I'm just gonna have to, like, just deal with it, I guess. Like, kind of just like I did with the last one. I'm, I'm just gonna need to, I'm just gonna need to say, oh, well, I've got a mine shaft here, like, I'm just... Just leave it. Like, I don't want to get lost, though. Um, but I have a habit of getting lost in these things. Anything over here? Oh my gosh, it keeps going. There's more over this way. Have I gone these ways? Nope, I haven't. And there's more stuff here. Oh, wait, this is where I... No, wait. Um, I think that's where I came in. I'm getting lost. I'm pretty sure I came in this way. Like, this might not be the water that I came in with. But I'm pretty sure I came in this way. No, this is not where I came in, actually. No, wait, uh, uh, no, 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 wait, oh, this, this, this is it, right, we, we entered here? No, we did not enter here. Ow. There's loads of gold here, which, why couldn't I have this last time? Why couldn't I have this in my old base? Have I looted this? No, I haven't, um... Brilliant, okay, not looted chest means I haven't been here, meaning this is this is not the exit. I could just use coordinates. Like, my base 
I know roughly the coordinates of my base. So, in fact, look, there's there's the exit there. So, I might just pop up out of this cave. I am coming to the end of my recording session, though, which is kind of annoying. I was hoping to get, like, a bit more progress done, but I, I don't have much time to record right now, which is really un Can I go up, please? Okay, hello, um, this, this is a little note from, um, Editor Pineapple here, which, this is actually the second video in a row where you've seen the replay mod, which is rare. Okay, so, as you can see down here, if we turn on night vision, we, we have discovered this wonderful little mineshaft, and I knew this one was here after I did some off-camera mining from a few episodes ago. So, I knew that this mineshaft was here, in fact look, you can actually see the mine that um, I found it with, and if we just like fly over here, we can see that this is absolutely huge, this mineshaft is huge, and there are so many geodes, like loads, except you may notice here, these mine shafts are not connected. These are these are separate mine shafts. The, these two mine shafts are separate. So we we have multiple different mine shafts. Okay, it's not going to load in any more of that. Oh, okay. Oh, that actually looks quite pretty. So there are multiple different mine shafts here, separate mine shafts. Except, I've also done a bit of flying around in this direction, I'm not sure if that's it, but uh, over here, if we fly far enough, if it wants to load again, ah, there's a third. There's a, there's a third mine shot. So, um, I'm not sure what it is with me choosing bases, but apparently this world just has hundreds of mine shafts in it, like, who knows, we might even find one if we go that way. And the only thing I can think of for all of this is basically the way Minecraft calculates where it's going to position stuff. It basically has, like, it generates two random numbers and then does a load of maths with those numbers and that chooses where a mine shaft will go. Except if you get the correct numbers, you can kind of just get them all to generate in a line. So if you actually find the right seed, you can get like hundreds of mine shafts or even strongholds just in a direct line. And it is it is actually kind of funny. Like look, here I am. And there's three mine shafts around, which it Ooh. I don't have as much time to record right now, which is really annoying, because this is, like, really what I love doing. But, annoyingly, no, I don't get paid for this, so, uh, th this, this isn't going to support my life, so, uh, I, I definitely need to not be doing this all of the time. Uh, here we go, we are out, and where are- oh, wow, we're- okay, okay, we actually weren't that far from where we were, okay. So, I basically have- a mine shaft down there that I need to deal with. That is, that is wonderful news. Oh, the ladder isn't there. Somehow I forgot about that. I completely forgot that the ladder that I put down would not go all the way down here. Come on, right? Can we place this and go up? Right. I think I'm gonna finish this little column that I'm doing. So this little three by three column. And then I'll either get some progress done off camera or I'll like, um, I'll do it all on camera, I don't know, I might do, like, it might be a bit, a mixture of both. So I'll kind of spend some time, um, like, digging this out and basically get down to Y level 10, which is where I plan to stop. And then we should hopefully have enough layers to generate a lot of creepers, so... Uh, right, so this is the corner block, so if I just dig that out here quickly, there we go, okay, so I know that these blocks need to be mined, and these ones I'm going to fill in with a wall. Anyway, back to the time blocks. Okay, 
Okay, so the first 3x3 three three column is done, minus two like little bits there. And there's also deep slate, which I didn't think about. I didn't have to deal with deep slate in the last one because it didn't exist at that point. But now, now deep slate does and it's slower to mine, which is okay. It's also quite a nice building block, I will admit. Like, looks quite nice. Also, I found diamonds, which is brilliant. And I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. I'll take the bricks out of this chest and put that in there, and then those can go in there, and the rest needs to be smelted, which I will do in our wonderful villager trading farm slash breeder, I don't know what to call it anymore. But yeah, so that's gonna end this episode here, which is annoying, I really hoped that- have you just become a- yes, you have. And I- I don't want any of that stuff, okay. Oh wow, I forgot I left stuff in here. So yeah, that that's unfortunately the end of this episode. I need to put something there. We can, we can put another trading station there. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this episode here. I, I, I hope you have enjoyed it. I, I'm kind of excited to do another creep one because I'm kind of hopeful for this one. I, I lost a lot of hope in the last creep one because it just didn't work. It, it wasn't working and it might be something server-wide, in which case I'm gonna look at the mob cap on the server and actually check that out because I do have some control over this server so like I can run simple commands I can't do like uber complex commands but I can do like simple commands which are just like mob cap I should be able to change that if possible like to do that in the game which I'm pretty sure it is so I might be able to change the mob cap in which case I probably will because let's face it it's pretty dull with no mobs like I, I have all of this armor and nothing to protect like it and nothing for it to protect me from so I'm gonna be doing that also name suggestions for the dogs and that is everything I have to say so I really hope you have enjoyed this episode hopefully this group one works better than the last one and I will see you in the next episode Bye-bye.